I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Amen. Let us exalt the name of the Lord together. You have tuned in once again to Another Level Ministries. I am Pastor Maurice and we want to say thank you for tuning in. Now let's get into the furtherance of our service. upon the floods who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he hath he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, 
ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Hey, you walk out and you're famous. You walk out and you're famous. You're the king and yeah. the king and the king. You're the saint and 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 The Gospel, Luke chapter 13, verse 31 through 35. At that very hour, some Pharisees came up and said to him, Leave and go away from here, because Herod wants to kill you. And he said unto them, Go and tell that fox, Listen carefully. I cast out demons and perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I reach my goal. Nevertheless, I must travel on today and tomorrow and the day after that, for it cannot be that a prophet will die outside of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kills the prophets and stones to death those messengers who are sent to her by God. How often I have wanted to gather your children together around me, just as a hen gathers her young under her wings, but you were not willing. Listen carefully, your house is left to your desolate. And I say to you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
the gospel. Today's message is titled, There is no fear in God. There is no fear in God. Listen, whenever God has commissioned you to do something, you must get rid of all fear. Amen. There is no fear when you are trying to obey the spirit and the work and the will of God. Amen. As we read in the scripture, amen, Herod sent word to through his messengers that he was going to kill Jesus. Amen. They sent word that he was to get out of the city. Amen. And Jesus said to them, you go tell that fox. Amen. I must do the work of God. I have to heal today. I have to set free today. And listen, you got to tell Satan to get behind you and don't push that you must be about your father's business. Let's go to the scripture. Matthew 10 and 28 says, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather be afraid of him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Amen. You need to understand that God has commissioned you to do a work for him. And anytime God has commissioned you to do a work for him, amen, there can be no fear because he has to go before you and he will go before you and make every crooked place straight. Amen. And when it comes to public speaking, amen, if God has told you to say something, you cannot let fear set in because what you have been commissioned to say may help save a soul from death. Amen. So you must have no fear. Listen, there is no fear in God. Let's go to John chapter nine, verse four. Amen. It say, I must work the work of him that sent me while it is day. Night cometh when no man can work. Listen, you have an assignment in God and you cannot do it when you're dead. Amen. You must do your work now. Stop putting off for tomorrow what you can do today. Amen. Somebody's life hangs in the balance of you obeying the spirit of God. You must obey God. Amen. Stop getting bogged down with fear. God will take that fear away from you. All you have to do is open up your mouth and ask God to take that fear out of your heart. Listen, you don't need to be fearful because man cannot do anything to you. God will be there to fight every one of your battles. Amen. But you need to understand that there might be something that you might say or do that will cause somebody to look at their wicked ways and change and turn and do what God has commissioned them to do. Amen. Let's go to Colossians chapter three and 23. And it says, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for men. Stop making so many excuses. My college professor used to tell us, if it's important to you, you will find a way. If not, you will find an excuse. Stop making excuses why you cannot do what God has commissioned you to do. Listen, God would not have called you if he would not have equipped you to do what you need to do for your community, for your household. Yes, there's some people in your household that need to be saved and you got to stop being so fearful and say what God has told you to say so they can get free. You got to be able to ask God to take away that fear. Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? You've got to be about your father's business. Stop putting everything else above your father's business. You got to do what God has called for you to do. If he's called you to pastor, sit under those pastor that he has called you to sit under and learn all you can. Stop being one of those people that come to church and always on your cell phone and not paying attention to the assignments. You're going to need everything that your pastor is teaching you. He will send you pastors according to his word, according to his heart. And they will feed you with knowledge and understanding. You will be under ministries. Pray that God, pray that God send you under a ministry that you can get your teaching. That you're not going there just because they can hoop and holler, but go to a church where you can be fed spiritually. 
and that you can be equipped that when God calls you, you'll be ready to do what he says. And our final scripture, Philippians chapter four, verse 13. I can do all things which he has called me to do through him who strengthens and empowers me to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confidence in peace. God has infused you with inner strength. There is something that is deep down within you that causes you to be obedient to his spirit. But you just have to learn how to tap in. I know that I am talking to somebody out there right now. You need to know that there is no fear in God, that you must be about your father's work. Don't worry about the threats. Don't worry about the things that the enemy is trying to make up. Uh, for your bad. God will turn everything around and make it for your good. I'm going to pray for you right now. Some of you that have been called to do a work for God and you have a lot of fear. You have people telling you in your ear, oh no, he didn't call you, but you got to make your call and election sure in Christ. And when he calls you to do a work, you cannot be fearful. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we're asking you to take out the fear out of your people that they may be able to do what you have commissioned them to do without fear. Lord, supply every one of their needs, God. Go before them and make every crooked place straight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listen, there is no fear in God. Whatever he's called for you to do, he's gonna get you through it. He didn't bring you this far to leave you or forsake you. In Jesus' name, blessings. Let us intercede before the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, for the sake of the church, the world, and one another. Thank you, dear Father for the priceless gift of your dear son. Thank you for the wisdom, mercy, and salvation he brings. Thank you most of all for bringing us close to your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bestow your Holy Spirit upon the church so it loves you with heart, mind, and strength. Help the church to follow Jesus wherever he leads it to preach the gospel and serve our neighbors in word and deed. Let it equip all people to find their treasure, joy, and life in Christ alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember before you Christians who have been stripped of freedom, health, and even life because they prize Jesus above all else. Enrich them with the joy of salvation through their faithful witness. Bring many to repent and believe in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you for blessing our congregation with so many gifts, spiritual and physical. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we may always love the giver more than the gifts. Help us to willingly share those gifts with the spiritually and physically poor in our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Enrich the hearts and minds of students from preschool through graduate school, and especially students called to be pastors and teachers in your church. Let them love wisdom, seek understanding, and cling to Christ, their highest good and dearest treasure. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Teach the world's leaders, and especially those of our own country, to care for people more than prestige, to love justice more than popularity, and to use resources and power for the benefit of all. Grant that they should seek your will above partisan politics or personal gain. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless, guide, and protect our military and first responders. Prosper all they do that is in accordance with your will. Help us to support and encourage their loved ones to heal and help the wounded and to prize and use their gifts in civilian life when their present duties are done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We plead on behalf of all who are sick or injured, imprisoned or lonely, addicted or abused. We pray for all who are troubled by the powers of sin, evil, and death. Especially, we remember before you those who are on our prayer list. 
Grant them the joy of your saving help. Restore them to health, hope, and communion with you and with those who love and care for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, keep in your care all who have died trusting in you and console all whose grief runs deep. Sustain, encourage, and refresh us through the toils and trials of life. Keep us strong in faith toward you and fervent in love for one another. Bring us into the joy of your kingdom. There, with all your people, let us forever feast on your goodness and delight in your adoring Savior. United in the power of love of your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Incline your ears to our prayers, dear Lord, and answer them according to your most gracious and holy will. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our broadcast on today. And if this message today, this broadcast today has been a blessing to you, there's ways that you can give. You can go to our cash app at uh, dollar sign Al Ministries. You can go to PayPal. You can click the donate tab on www.anotherlevel.com. Or you can mail it to our church office at 16010 South Crenshaw Boulevard, Suite K, Gardena, California, 90249. Or you can hit us up at Tithely. We appreciate your gifts. We thank you so much, so much for tuning in today. May the strength of God sustain us. May the power of God preserve us. May the hands of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the love of God go with us this day and night and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and to be gracious unto us. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm.